In today's video, we're going to be talking about uploading the Microsoft 365 Copilot, Visio Online, and Project Online usage reports into your ServiceNow instance. This is a Xanadu feature and will be available to you when you've upgraded your instance to Xanadu. The first step in the procedure is to, to log into the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So for this portion of the process, you're going to want to make sure you have admin privileges within the Microsoft Admin Center. And once you've logged in, you're going to go to Admin. And you are going to look for Reports. And underneath Reports, you're going to see Usage. So these are all the various usage reports you can download from the portal. We're going to go to the Microsoft 365 Copilot. And you'll see up here there's a usage tab and this will show us all the usage for copilot now this is one of our demo instances so there's really not a lot of data here but you'll have quite a bit more so what you're going to do is you're going to click on export and you're going to save this particular file now it's really important that you don't change the name or any of the structure of the csv files that you're downloading so just go ahead and save that to a directory and we're going to use that later on. So now we're going to go in and we're going to go to the project and we're going to scroll down here. It's a little bit different than Copilot, um, but you'll see there is usage information here for project. So we're going to go ahead and click on the export button here for project. And again, I'm not going to change the name. It's very important. We don't change the names. We're going to hit save and we're going to go to the Visio. And we're going to grab the usage for Visio. So this is something you're going to want to do on a regular basis to continually feed the usage information for these applications into ServiceNow. Okay, so once we've got that done, we are going to go ahead and log into our ServiceNow instance. Okay, so we're logged into our ServiceNow instance and I'm on the Software Asset Management Workspace. I'm going to go to the License Operations view. And under the License Operations view, I'm going to look for my direct integration profile. So it's important if you have multiple profiles uh, in your environment, so perhaps you have more than one tenant, it's very important that you um, attach the CSV files specific to that tenant to the right one. So I only have one tenant in my instance, so I already know which integration I'm going to be picking. But if you have more than one, you're going to need to match the tenant with the report. So that's something very important as well. So I'm going to click on Microsoft 365. And I'm going to go to the attachment section. And here's where I'm going to want to select those files that I downloaded. So I downloaded these three files today. And I'm going to upload each of these files. And once that's done, I'll click on save. And so that's pretty much really all you have to do to uh, bring the usage information in. So there is a scheduled job that's going to run on a daily basis, which will then take those CSV files and bring the usage information in. So if I look quickly here under my license operations, underneath software usage, and I want to take a look, let's say for um, project online usage, I don't have any, but once that job runs, it will um, bring all that data in. So I'm going to pause my video and run that job manually so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so the daily job has finished and I can see that I have one uh, usage record that came in for Project Online. Again, this is just our demo instance, so there's not a lot of usage information in here. I can also check and see if the Visio has come in. And yes, I can see a Visio Online. And then we can check Copilot real quick. So we're going to go Contains, um, Pilot, and yes, we have usage information for all three. 
One very important thing to note, just like with any um, of the other usage type um, data that you're bringing into ServiceNow, you need to make sure that you have reclamation rules uh, enabled for, for those products. So you can see here we do have three reclamation rules um, that were created automatically when I upgraded to Xanadu. Um, it does check to see if you have um, a 365 integration and I already did have an integration. So when I upgraded my instance to Xanadu, it um, automatically created these reclamation rules for me. Um, also, if you're creating your direct integration for the first time, then it will create these rules when you create that integration.